4.6 billion years ago. An enormous cloud of gas and dust, called a solar nebula, swirls in the Milky Way galaxy. A new solar system is born. Our solar system. In a process known as the conservation of angular momentum, gravity collapses the cloud, turning it into a flattened, spinning disk. The powerful gravity pulls most of the gas into the center of the disk, and this gas gradually condenses, coalesces, and ultimately forms our sun. Leftover gas and dust swirls around and slowly begins clumping together. Now the strong solar winds blast outward from the sun, blowing lighter materials like hydrogen and helium far out. Heavier material like dust and rocks resist the solar wind and remain close to the center. And it's this heavy material that begins clumping together, eventually forming the prototypes of the inner rocky planets, including planet Earth. It's the Earth's dense, rocky core that forms first. Heavy materials like iron and nickel gravitate to the center, whereas lighter materials drift to the outside, eventually forming the Earth's crust. Over millions of years, the new Earth begins trapping stray gas in its powerful gravity, and this gas eventually becomes our sacred, life-saving atmosphere. But suddenly, around one billion years after the Earth is formed, Thea, a large Mars-sized body, floating freely in the new solar system, crashes into Earth, causing near-catastrophic damage. Millions of pieces of the infant planet blast outward into space. Some pieces become trapped in the Earth's gravity, ultimately becoming our moon. Today, comets are rare in the inner solar system, only appearing a few times every several decades. But during the early, primordial times, comets were very abundant throughout the entire solar system. It's believed these icy comets colliding with a young Earth were the initial cause of water on our planet's surface. Of course, since then, Earth has become the pleasant, life-bearing planet we know as home. We enjoy an abundance of vegetation, water, tools, and technologies. We live a safe and protected life under our atmosphere. That is, until the sun turns into a red giant, incinerates the entire planet, and wipes out all evidence that Earth ever existed. But not to worry. We've got five billion years to figure that out, and we can discuss this in another episode. It takes weeks to make videos like this for you to enjoy. Do us a favor, comment, share, and subscribe below.